What's up guys, it's Nisi Rachelle and welcome to another video. Today's video is a Unget Ready With Me um, where I will be installing this wig as well as doing my nighttime skin routine. So um, if you're new here, please subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like this video and comment on this video and let's get into All right, it guys. So we are here to do a second attempt of putting on this wig so um from last time y'all know how that went it did not go well <laughs> um i'm not sure if maybe it was because my locks were too long or what it was but your girl could not um get the freaking wig on so i am following directions now um first of all my locks are a lot shorter so i believe that i should be able to you know get said wig on my head but i'm also um once i do get it on because i put it on before um i can't remember what video i watched but my hair was like 10 times shorter than this so it was like just put the cap on and you know it was gonna work so um now i'm just gonna follow this video of someone who has hair that's why i have my airpod in because you know i just want to be able to hear it and um yeah let's like get into it so um for my supplies because you know y'all kind of need to know what i'm using um i have cotton balls because I need to like clear off like the alcohol or the you know oils from my face because this is going to be like my nighttime routine so I'm going to put the wig on and whatnot but I'm also going to clean my skin and whatnot afterwards because it's nighttime I'm not putting makeup on y'all I'm about to go to sleep why am I putting on makeup so just going to do like a nighttime routine after I put the wig on but yeah I have my cotton balls I have my alcohol and this is only 50% because I'm kind of scared to put higher than that on my face just in case it runs I don't know just personal fear I have my popsicle sticks um, and crazy thing about me having the popsicle sticks I was not going to use glue because I like to take my hair off and with the glue you can't just take it off so y'all pray for me because i don't really know how well this is gonna go <laughs> like in the next couple days because i want to be able to take it off um i have a cap um and this cap um is close to my skin tone so yeah i don't even know why i still why i have that or where i got it from but i have it still so we're gonna go with the flow I have my got to be free spray um, I usually always just have that um, for when I do hair and stuff anyway then I have me two clips because um, in this method she did clip it down and I was like why the heck didn't I think of that but that looked like it made it a lot easier so I have my duck clips and y'all these are like my favorite like clips to use so I'll link these down below because I got them off Amazon. And then have a little pair of scissors. Um, I just felt like the little pair would be easier to use. Then I have my Ghost Bun XL. Um, this one has extra moisture control. Uh, it says it's formulated for people with oily scalps, high humidity, and heavy perspiration, which I fall in that category because my skin is very oily, and um, I'm in Florida, so it's just naturally humid and hot anyway, so I feel like this might work. I feel like I used it before, and I didn't do well. Um, I think my friend ended up having to put it on for me, and it kind of worked when she did it. I don't know. But I can't even remember what I used the last time I did this, so child, who knows. Um, I have my blow dryer, and y'all, 
this is my blow dryer from school and it is the absolute best blow dryer ever it like really gets hot so I pray to God this lasts me a long time because I just prefer it not to die on me you know I also have my band and y'all don't judge my band because it was in my makeup bag so it has makeup all over it but um, I got this from um, Vanessa Dolls Hair. Um, I believe she still has these because I think she still sells hair so I will if I can find it I will tag it below so y'all can get you one if you want one and then the lovely wig that did not make it the last time but this is what she looks like it's very similar to my hair color not quite my hair color but close enough you know so yeah let's get to it <laughs> all right so first i am going to take a little sip of my wine because it is a nighttime routine and i usually do wind down in the evening so we're gonna wind down first And the next thing I need to do is take the jewels out my hair because I clearly will not be able to um, do this with jewels in my hair. So let's remove those and take my ponytail down that's been in my hair since I freaking, <laughs> this ponytail has been in my hair since, since my hair has been this short. And I'm really wondering, like, do I need to, do I need to, um, braid it down? Because if I do, I'm probably only going to do two. If I can get it braided. So let's see. This might work y'all so it looks like I can like braid down a little bit of the front halfway and then kind of like smooth it into a ponytail so um yeah let's go with that that and it's pretty flat it might work y'all I'm <laughs> it might work so let's keep going let's get this other side done and I'm gonna be honest with y'all I really don't know how to braid. I'm literally just like winging it and it's working. So don't y'all be down here talking about what you're doing, girl, because I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Um, like I get the concept of braiding, but like, like all I can do for real is plait. Like, and like I just told y'all, I'm not even like, I'm not even braiding this all the way. Legit like, getting it to a spot where it's like not. Where it's like flat. I think that might work okay so yeah I think this is flat enough so let me see what my next step would be make sure I do this right y'all so next next she puts the ball cap on so let's see I'm gonna put this on and I need to take my headphone out for this because I've been noticing a lot of people been putting this thing over their ears and like why nobody told me that the first time I did this like nobody said oh bring it all the way like over your ears so <sighs> let's see okay 
Y'all, my head just big, huh? And then they're like, what did I do with the scissors, y'all? to this y'all i really do but like i'm about to die right now it's probably my fault for wearing a long sleeve freaking shirt okay so i need to spray now so um she used the orange spray and i've been hearing a lot of good things about that but until i get comfortable doing this i will not be buying anything else so it looks like she just kind of like sprayed it like along her hairline area type thing so let me get a mirror so i got a mirror and looks like she just kind of see i don't child we fin we finna see and blow dry it in. Hold on. Hold on. I ain't there yet. Wait a minute. is dry because uh yeah so next thing she did was um cut so if it's really dry it won't it won't cut past the little yeah i really think this is like Y'all, if they, if y'all hear like, like popping sounds, it's literally the um, people doing the roof down the street. Okay. I don't know y'all, 
but it looks like I may have done something right. um okay so that doesn't look bad so um yeah <laughs> all right so that's that part and then like next she puts makeup on it but like as like i said my hair this net is pretty yeah this net is pretty decent so like I said before this has combs in it so I think I should be able to like get this on right so you see yeah that's about where it will fall y'all is going on so excited let's see where it's gonna fall oh it's gonna fall like right there on it huh oh yeah it's gonna fall right there on it so um now i'm supposed to wipe my forehead down with the alcohol but i don't think i really need to because where this falls is on the lace so i'm not gonna do that part i may or may not regret this later but um yeah so she did two layers so i don't really want this on my hair so i'm gonna go around This might be another one of my issues. I'm not really patient either, but this side is pretty much dry. So I'll go in again with this around. Around the perimeter. I do still think I brought it down like too far, but <sighs> okay, so. I guess I let this get tacky and then once it's tacky I will um put the wig on so yeah I'm gonna like just chill out because the other stuff that she's doing in the video I don't have to do my wigs always already been customized I did that a long time ago so hopefully it still like works for my hair because my hair has grown in a lot So I do know she said that she um, did not let it go all the way clear because the last time she did that she said it didn't come out right so I'm not going to let it like dry all the way but I do want it to get a little tacky before I put this wig on because once this wig on I think it's just on and if it look bad my feelings going to be hurt so <laughs> 
yeah and i think like if this goes well i think i will continue to like order more wigs um i know a couple people that make wigs like in my area and also um one of my classmates she makes wigs i actually did a show for her in um when was that i did a show for her in 20 18 or 19 one of those years um and yeah it went really um well and i really like the quality of her wigs as well so i might like start if i can get this right <laughs> i might start ordering wigs and like doing wig um especially since i have locks doing wigs over locks for you all so y'all can see how it's done and then maybe a girl can get better at braiding in the process because like i keep saying i cannot braid i'm that black girl i can't braid <laughs> so yeah that side is going clear i don't want it to go all the way clear so i'm gonna go ahead and like try to put this on and i wish like Kind of the problem with my setup right now like i don't have anything to hold my mirror and i also don't have any like i don't have anything that's gonna hold my mirror and my freaking mirror or camera so let me see i'm put this on and oh yeah this also has the little drawstrings in the back too so I hope this goes right. I just got it on, so it should go back on, right? Let me clip some of this out the way so it doesn't get in the glue, but not too tight because I need that to lay oh okay see yeah that's what i'm talking about i don't want that in the glue But it's almost all the way on and I'm still dying. Cause I'm hot. I can wanna take my shirt off. Um it's like real deal like super super tight. And this is not staying. Like I could feel it lifting. So maybe I comb it out and do like because I think it's not staying because I think it's too I'm pulling it too tight. So I don't I really don't want to put more glue right there. I think I'm gonna just use my got to be and like y'all that did it. I look 
crazy, but that did it. So, um, let's see. Cause my part is like right there. And that's where it always is. Oh, I need to fix this wig. I look like Shaka Khan. Look at this. All right, I'll be right back. Oh, child. Okay, I'm back, y'all. I had to get another battery. But, um, I don't think I did that bad putting it on. Now I need to style it because, baby, I look a mess. Like, like, look at me. What is happening? So, um, in this, I have my design, design essentials, um, what is it? Um, bamboo something leave-in conditioner. So I'm gonna spray that on. First I'm gonna tie this down, make sure it doesn't lift, but then I'm gonna spray that on and brush it out and then add some styling foam to it. And the styling foam that I will be using is the Miracle, Miracle Texture Style Foam by Kaleidoscope. It is the coconut milk and aloe vera one. And it's ideal for curl sets, twist outs, and blowouts. And that's what that looks like. And yeah, so let me tie this down first. And then we're going to spray and try to get it together, child. Because, baby, I look like Shaka Khan. Like, I'm about to <sighs> Tina Turner rolling on you real quick. So, hold on. Got it tied down. Hopefully, it's secure enough. But right? I don't look like Shaka no more. <laughs> um. Yes. Yeah, so. Um, this is the shedding I got from me just running my fingers through it. You can barely see that. It's like not enough for you to see anything. But that's the shedding I got. Um, I did bleach and color this wig myself. So <laughs> for me to do that and that's all the shedding I got, I think that's pretty darn good. So, I'm going to get some of this foam going and just run it through because I am going to braid this down tonight. I will tell you one thing, I don't like how this smells. probably should have oh I don't like how this smells at all extra thick for no reason I might need to like run a comb or something right there it's like super super dry
put a mask on because I need to mask my my skin. But yeah, girl. All right, guys. So, like I said, now I'm gonna do my skincare. Um, I'm gonna use two different soaps because um, I'm trying to clear up my dark spots as well as like clarify my skin and i'm going to be doing a hydrating mask and some other stuff um so featured products in this video I have so much freaking stuff. Like, it's just ridiculous. Um, but. First things first. I'm going to pull the hair back. Because it doesn't need to be involved in this part. This hair is like super thin too, by the way. It wasn't always this thin, it's just I've had it for like two, three years. So, yeah, don't judge me. So, first things first, I'm gonna turn my steam on, and oh my gosh, I just started steaming right away. Okay. <laughs> Y'all probably can't really see it because it's not that strong, but you know, you know, we work with what we can. But turn down more this way. Um, first soap I'm gonna use um, is a clarifying soap from Good Molecules. If you don't know. Um, I just released a video about them or for them and this is their soap that they sent me. So. Um, 
tone and it's dry all the way. And I had my steamer going because I'm really wanting to open up my pores. So all of that seeps down into the skin, girl. All right, so next, I am going to be using my brightening gel from Ethelene's. I really um, should be using my um, vitamin A with this, but I'm just going to do a little bit of this one. Spots on my forehead. And then this little spot recently. And like yeah, I literally only got like a little, 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 little dot of this. Now go ahead and let that soak in too before I go to my next step. Soaking, I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of my lip sleeping mask on by Laneige. By Laneige. How do you say it, y'all? I don't know. I think I'm pronouncing it right before I add it for the show. There it is. I'm going to put that on. And this is a mask you just leave it on overnight. Honestly, it's a good like lip balm period. Okay, now I'm gonna put on my sleeping mask. Um, I have my little fan brush that I like to use, and this just goes all over. After I get out the shower for video purposes, I am going to do it now. That's how you get the glowing skin. It was already glowing before I started adding the lash products because. Between these two, you gon' glow. 
like they just naturally like brighten your skin but um, I try to use my mask um, tw at least twice a week because it's usually how often I recommend my clients to use the mask if they're going to mask and um, like if I have breakouts I try to use like a um, clay mask like a sulfur clay mask but I don't have any breakouts right now so I am going to go ahead and um, use this mask instead but that is it for the skincare part of my video um, let's remove this uh, band and check out the wig because I think it's been long enough I'm probably I'm gonna put it right back on but I just want to girl okay it ain't bad y'all it's not bad at all all right guys so yeah um wig did not come out bad i probably do need to do something like with my part because it is a little like flunky so i might work on that tomorrow but Girl, I got it over the, 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 the locks. That was the goal, and that is what was accomplished. So, um, yeah. All right, guys. So, that is the end of my video. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little un get ready with me <laughs> um, because I'm definitely not putting makeup on. I'm going to sleep. And... Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.